Hey guys, I'm big into storytelling, um, especially when it comes to the old Buddhist tales. Uh, this little story is a theme about master and apprentice and uh, the, the master uh, as a student who uh, forgets his place at times and goes abroad and, and you know gets some more wisdom and, and returns back with the air of a master and his master gives him uh, gives him a taste of uh, you know you have a while to go yet. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this little vignette and uh, again I really enjoyed the teachings from the people at the Dublin Buddhist Centre so pop down there uh, if you're looking for more. Thanks Emil. This is the tale of Milarepa and Rampucha. Milarepa, one of the finest teachers of wisdom and his student Rampucha, a loyal advocate. At one stage Rampucha left for foreign lands and returned with new wisdom, full of confidence and vigour. He was expecting his old master to bow at his feet. When this did not happen, Rampucha was disgruntled. Milarepa decided to try and explain to him, but Rampucha would not listen. So he ran. Milarepa ran, yet Rampucha chased after him, looking for an answer. At times, Milarepa began to walk, yet Rampucha could still not grab a hold of him. They came to a break. Exhausted, Rampucha and Milarepa pointed to a magic horn on the floor. Rampucha picked it up and inside he looked. Milarepa was inside the horn. He broke the horn and with that Milarepa ran, ran to the cave. Rampucha followed. He asked him, please fetch me, fetch me some water. At this stage, Rampucha decided to employ new tactics and he gathered some water. Though on the way, he stopped. Distracted by a herd of goats, he stopped by the river. On his way home, returning, he saw the, one of the books he had brought from the foreign lands being burned. <laughs> Milarepa questioned, why did you take so long to return? <sighs> Rampucha could not take it at this stage, though this was the time where Milarepa showed Rampucha of his powers. He meditated and the power of 100 Buddhas came from him. He began to levitate, breaking through the cave and the roof, walking on the sky and the waterfall. At this stage, Rampucha was in awe. Returning to the ground, Milarepa sat Rampucha down and said, Go to the village, be a family man. Practice the Dharma, and he returned his book that had been burned. One day, while going about his daily life, Rampucha had a visitor from an old beggar woman. He saw the look in the eye, though he did not say anything. This was his master. He gave the old lady food, and he noted to himself, mm, My master is always watching. <laughs>